Um, so this workshop is just about um, use of the prompt flex mannequin for demonstrating and learning deeply impacted feet or head during cesarean section. Um, so essentially the mannequin is your standard prompt flex mannequin but with additional modules. So it's got the um, cesarean section skin with a preformed incision and underneath We've got the baby deep low in the pelvis simulating impacted feet or head and this strap is used to push baby even lower and tighten it up um, and one of the things that we found is particularly for the more junior trainees it can be quite useful learning this with the skin off so they can actually visualize exactly what's happening what they're doing and particularly for learning things like reverse breech extraction they can see what they're doing um, but I think it's pretty pretty good to see it with the skin on so I thought I'd just demonstrate it first obviously this is not where you'd be standing to do your cesarean delivery so I apologize um, but first of all um, it's always good to have a little bit of lubrication and then it's really difficult to deliver the head so at a push I could probably just about flex and disimpact it but I'm gonna ask Mary to do a push-up from below go for it Mary Okay, and I can feel that releases that kind of vacuum that you get, and then that allows me to deliver the head. Thanks. Thanks. There we go. Okay, and then people can practice delivering the rest of the head. Do you mind putting it in again, Absolutely. Nick, so we can do reverse breach? So it's a good opportunity for obstetricians to learn the technique, but also for multi-professional training because a lot of the time Thanks, it might be a midwife say in theatre, who's asked to do a push-up from below, who's never done it before, doesn't know the position of the baby, doesn't know how to do it, and is feeling a bit intimidated in a high-pressure situation to say, I don't know what to do. And so may just put one finger in, put two fingers in, and push up. And that's where we're going to increase our risk of skull fractures. So it's actually really good to do as a multi-professional training exercise with the midwives as well, and then they can learn about exactly what to do. So say that's failed or we want to try reverse breech extraction first it's also really great for trying that so I can feel I've got a hand there so I don't want to get that and then there we go got a foot and it's slippy it's quite realistic simulating it so there we go so I can practice the rest of my delivery there we go Again, hopefully when you're practicing, you're not doing it from behind the baby like I am now. <laughs> there we go, great. So there we go. So you can practice the maneuvers really nicely and also with the skin off. I'll give you that, Nick, and just come over here. So I think if, you, if you're concentrating on one thing, like deeply impacted feet or head, it's good to keep it simple and just use this skin. But if, particularly for more junior trainees, if you want to teach the whole cesarean section from knife to skin to closing as well, there are these um, cesarean section skin modules. So you put that in instead of the skin. And you can just use a normal scalpel to cut through. And it's got the layers. So we've got the skin, cutaneous fat, sheath, rectus muscles, the peritoneum. In here, we've got the bladder, the uterus, and then the membranes. So trainees can have an opportunity to practice. It does feel quite realistic. And then, um, Nick, you were saying earlier about how there's this extra insert that we can put inside that simulates, say, four centimetre cesarean section where the head is a little bit higher so that trainees can just focus on the basics of practising, OK, standard cesarean section, just delivering the head, OK? Um, and then, obviously, you can practise suturing as well.